Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and I'd like to run you through the enhancements to our thick paint brushes. So to begin with, I have a, I'm going to work with a photo. You can certainly paint from a blank canvas, but I'm going to use this as a reference point to paint from. And to do so, I'm going to come up to the file menu and I'm going to say quick clone. And that creates a new canvas. It's taken the image off the canvas and it's turned the tracing paper on as a reference point for me. So if we take a look in the photo art panel, I can toggle the tracing paper on and off and also adjust the opacity level. And this just allows me to preview the image so that I can paint from it. Before I begin painting, I'd just like to quickly run through the property bar up here because we've reorganized the brush control panels and the property bar flyouts just to put everything that you need at your fingertips. So you quickly and easily can access all of the additional controls for your thick paint right from the property bar now, which is very, very handy. In addition to being able to change your dab profile, the shape of your brush. So there's all kinds of controls here. Throughout the demo today, I'm really not gonna do much customization of the brushes. We'll teach you a little bit about that in tutorials down the road though. The other thing I'd like to highlight are some of the new layer capabilities. Let's switch to a non-thick paint brush quickly here. And we'll go ahead with this. I'm gonna turn the tracing paper off. I'm, I'm painting on the canvas right now. So just throw some random strokes out there. And if I right click, I can now take the content that's on the canvas and lift it to a thick paint layer. This is brand new. You can adjust the thickness, I could invert. We also have a visible depth slider on the property bar now. So we can make adjustments to our thick paint layer, although we lifted acrylics and I could now go and begin to paint with thick paint or thick paint compatible brushes. So now I'm painting with the loaded flat knife on that layer that we lifted the acrylic up to thick paint. So you can mix and match media in ways that you never could before. If we take one more look in the layers palette, I'm gonna right click. I can flip the content of this layer, horizontal or vertical, go ahead and do that. We can come down to the bottom, add a new thick paint layer, and you also now have the ability to preserve transparency. All these new options combined make for really powerful thick paint painting. Now from here, we've enhanced the thick paint brushes. So if we take a look, I'm gonna scroll down here, and we've got thick paint and also thick paint compatible. So in the thick paint brush category, there are all kinds of new brushes for you to work with, and we've enhanced many of the brushes that were in Painter 2020. Now, when I selected a brush, this is new to 2021. It's giving me a warning saying this particular media type creates a special layer. So do you always want to create a compatible layer above the current one? I'm gonna go ahead and check yes, otherwise this message will pop up as you're selecting brushes each time. Go ahead and say yes to that. And now we see it, we have a thick paint layer over there in the layers palette. So let's decide here, I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go back and open up the brushes once again. I'm gonna go ahead and choose, let's see, I want like a really thick, juicy brush. Loaded, thick, and wet. This sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to select this brush and I can see that the size of the brush is quite tiny. You can size up on the property bar because I'm working with a clone image. I did not turn on the clone color over here. So I'm going to undo and just click the clone color button. And now when I come out and paint, it's going to paint with the colors from the source image. My brush is not quite loaded up with the amount of paint that I would like it to have. Up on the property bar, I'm gonna come over to the right here and we'll just take a look under media. We've got paint load. I'm gonna set this to infinite so that it doesn't run out of paint on me. And then let's come and see how this works out. Now, if I toggle the tracing paper off, 
we can see we have some really beautiful, luscious looking strokes here. So I'm pretty happy with this. And it makes it very easy working from a clone source for me to get a beautiful end result. So let's toggle the tracing paper back on and maybe try some other types of brushes. So let's come back up here and this one sounds pretty cool too. And you get a preview. You can see what the brush is gonna look like just by looking at the dab and stroke preview. And the other thing that I didn't point out is as you're selecting different brushes throughout Painter, we now have a compatibility icon that's gonna tell you if the brush that you're selecting is compatible with the type of layer that you're working with. So let's grab this loaded palette knife, size the brush up. I'm gonna click the clone color so that I'm painting from the clone source and check it out. So this brush is not quite as thick as the original one, but we're gonna keep playing around and I can always go back in and add thickness that wasn't there because our thick paint compatible category allows us to do that now, along with mixing things like different media types. So if we take a look over here, I can actually work with pastels or sergeant brushes or airbrushes on a thick paint layer. We couldn't do that previously. So this is pretty cool, all the new mixed media capabilities that we have with thick paint. So back over here and let's try I'm going to try the loaded wet knife. Turn that tracing paper back on, click my clone color button, and we're ready to paint. I'm going to go ahead and size the brush up just a tiny bit. Okay, looking pretty good. And I'm going to save the rest of the flower for my compatible brushes, and we'll do a little touching up there. So now let's work on the stem. I'm gonna come back up and grab maybe the loaded oils knife here. Turn the tracing paper on and make sure we've got clone color. All right, and that looks pretty cool. Now let's start to work on the, the leaf there. For this, I'm gonna try this dry trail off brush. Turn on the clone color. And I'm going to make sure I've got infinite paint. This particular brush loads up with a very finite amount of paint. We're going to just make it infinite so I can paint away. All right, so that's a good starting point, but now let's go to the compatible brushes. And from here, I'm going to try to play with the thick sergeant brush. Grab that. Make sure I've got clone color turned on. Maybe now I'll try a dry pastel-y kind of brush and see what that does for us. Let's try this oily dry pastel. Now one thing that we haven't played around with yet is the visible depth. So everything that I'm creating is on a thick paint layer, but new to 2021 is this slider. And I can begin to take this to the right, and that is way too much. So ideally, as you're adding different types of media, you could put them on different layers because as you adjust the depth, it might affect different media types differently. I'm gonna try one more kind of brush here. Let's see, uh, maybe a soft, thin bristle. Okay, at this point, I might wanna add a little bit more texture back into the leaf and to the stem. So we do have some brushes in the compatible category, a light texturizer. Let's go ahead and check this one out. I'm just gonna make sure clone color is on. And I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see this a little bit better. 
and it is very, very light. Um, so I might want to do something a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to try the scribe. Ah, that's good. Okay, so I can see it's adding. It's not too much. It's actually just enough for what I'm looking for here. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. There's tracing paper is off, on, and that's our thick paint version. I hope you enjoy painting with all the wonderful new brushes.